Hi. So I wanted to talk about the Playwood tympani mallets, the former Raymond Kulfs. Actually, now it's known as a World Performer series. Because um, if one wants to acquire some tympani mallets with Playwood, it's very difficult to understand how this series works, especially like if you can't test all the mallets from an actual shop. And to me, they are a very interesting series because uh, from all the marks I have tried, they are, to my opinion, the best value for professional equipment, despite some uh, inconvenience, which I will develop later on. So first I will describe briefly what you can find in this series, and then I will show you how they sound with some uh, extracts on the field, maybe, on the actual team. So, there are actually three series inside this World Performer Pro 3000 brand. The first one, with the number 31, makes the classical series. It's made with a cork core and German felt. Generally, they will tend to have a rather clear sound with uh, some pleasant weight, I would say just above average. This series is made of uh, 9 standard models with a 20mm core. Number 3111 will be the hardest one and the 3119 will be the softest one. There are also three special models. They have a 22mm core and they are built for special purposes. The second series marked 32 with still a cork core, consists in three different mini-series of three pairs each, not unlike the Seegers models by Kato, the Seegers A, B and C, small, medium and large for each of the letters. So here it's uh, with numbers. The last number indicates the hardness, one being the hardest, and the third number indicates which mini-series one, two, or three. So the first trio, mark 3210, has a 20 mm cork core wrapped with a soft unknown material. I don't know what it is, but it renders a dark attack and it has a, it has a pink thread, so you can recognize them. The 3220 trio is made with a mushroom technique which consists in wrapping the 22, this time, millimeter core with a free-floating German felt. The sound uh, like this will gradually change from soft and dark to hard and clear, depending on the dynamic of the stroke. And it has a blue thread this time. The last trio, 3230, made with a 24, this time, millimeter core, is the heaviest of the 32 series. The mallets are quite big and sound very powerful, although you will still hear a clear spectrum around the forte and fortissimo dynamics. Okay, so now there is only one series left. It's the number 33, and it's the flannel series. And it's very vast. It consists in five mini-series. First one being leather models, and four mini-series made with different fabrics for different sound colors. So, the leather series, 3310, has five models and it's very complete from the 3311, being very hard, quite similar to wood, very hard, very light, and the 3315, the biggest of the series, and the heaviest and the smoothest. It, it's made with 31mm Swede flannel, so it has a very soft attack and a round sound, but it's very heavy. The second part of the series, 3320, is made of natural cotton flannel. The three models, 21, 22 and 23, respectively with 28, 31 and 35 mm diameters, have a clear attack and a round fundamental, so they are very versatile. The 3330 trio, has the same characteristics with a different cotton. It's white, very white, somehow softer. 
The attack will be less present and the sound more elegant, although it may get clearer in the upper part of the dynamics, especially with the smaller model. The 3340 set has only two sizes, 28 or 31 mm. It's made of hard wool flannel and it's very similar to Viennese type mallets, although still with bamboo shafts. The sound will be light and very articulate. The last trio, Mark 3350, is composed with two different kinds of fabrics, depending on the model. The smaller one, 51, is made of half natural cotton and half Guinea's wool with a 28mm head. And the two bigger models are made of half natural cotton and half denim. It's a, a softer fabric, it's the one from the blue jeans, you know, although it's not blue. But unfortunately I can't describe it uh, better or more accurately because I don't possess any pair from this series. That's it, so now that we know a bit more of how this World Performer series is organized, let's hear some others to get an idea of how it actually sounds. As you could see, I don't own them all. The sample I have may be sufficient to give you a general vision of it. Okay, so enjoy!